Oh, a giant bear. bear. Chasing me down. I didn't see that one. <laughs> oh, like... a... oh, oh, hello. I didn't, I didn't see you there. Sorry. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just watching my own YouTube video and browsing some dank memes on reddit.com. Go about your business. I'll go back to this. And I'm going as fast as Anna, hello. Right, it is currently 6.23. I was checking that it wasn't 6.24, because it's been a few times since I checked the time that it was 6.23. That's Hearthstone, in case you can't tell. It's that game I'm playing all the time. I was in Wilkinson's, also known as, wait, is Wilkins? Is it actually called Wilkinson's, or is it just called Wilco? It's probably just called Wilco. I was in Wilco with you and um, Emily, M. She's far from home, uh, the other day, and one of you, I can't remember which one, probably you, Anna, was like, ah, oh, because you're such a big fan of me, you were like, ah, oh, when's the next time that you're going to make one of them, one of them clever little talky at the camera, because you're Bulgarian, so you don't understand what the English word for video is, so you're like, oh, when are you going to make one of them things where you talk to me through my, through the magical internet superhighway, uh, and then Emily was like, it's called a video, you foreign idiot, because she's racist, and we all know that, Emily, we all know that you're secretly hiding your racism from us, we can all tell, the jig is up. You, you hate black people. Well, I mean, Anna isn't black, she's just foreign. But you hate black people as an extension of the rest of your racism. Future employers of her are watching this? Not racist at all. Don't worry. Boss, who is Ethiopian, she's fine. She'll love you. Actually, she's, if anything, she's got like an affinity for Ethiopians in particular. Anyway, so I was like, oh, I don't know when I'm going to make one of these new videos because I've got nothing to talk about. Then I remembered, right? It didn't matter that I've been talking about. This is like just now I've just remembered. Like while talking about you, I've just remembered it doesn't matter that I don't have anything to talk about. Because apparently not having anything to talk about makes for like wonderful things because I ramble about Emily being racist. She's far from home. So then Emily was like, oh, because I love your videos so much, why don't you just make a filler video? And I was like, what's a filler video? And she was like, a little Q&A. And I was like, who's going to ask me questions? Nobody's going to ask me questions. Then I decided that uh, I should probably make a video soon because we've got to make one before the end of May because we can't have Cliff appearing in every video so we've got to make at least two in May. It's unlikely that I'll be able to make any in the following weeks because I've got all this stuff going on. So, what we're going to do is going to talk to you. What was I going to talk to you about? Oh yeah! Okay, right. So, in order to make this video, in order to make it look professional, it's 6.3. The neighbours would like be looking at me through these through these windows. This one, there's an old lady. Her name is Janice. Her name is not Janice. I'm making that up. And this one, there's a young gay couple called Todd and Tim and they live together uh, and they love each other very much that's also a lie neither do it. anyway they're Todd and Tim and Janice they'd be watching me they'd be like oh what's she doing she's talking to her phone and no mirror so I had to close my curtains it's 623 the light is still outside so like the, the light's fine and then I had to turn this big light up here on but as you can see it makes basically no difference okay right we're gonna okay right this shot light is on and then the next shot where I'm gonna, I'm gonna go turn it on and then I'm gonna like come back and then it's gonna look magic okay this shot where well, the light is different virtually no difference there's much more yellow glare coming from up there why is there more yellow glare coming from this direction than any other direction because I've constructed myself a softbox what's a softbox if you don't know okay a softbox is one of these like lights on like a big pole and then it's like a light and then it's like sort of an umbrella okay so here's the contraption it's like a it's like a light coming from here it's my lava lamp it's like a light coming from here and then like it's precariously balanced on this thing and then I've got an H&M bag uh, wrapped around it with two hair bands and it's like tied to it three times uh, hopefully uh, that's not a fire hazard right so a softbox as you can see from the uh, figure one um, which is in this area here uh, softboxes they have like these weird umbrella things to it to like reflect light parabolically slightly better so I'm thinking um, maybe I can like incorporate this, but I've only got like 20 minutes to make a video right now because as I establish it's uh, 6.28 I've only been doing this for 5 minutes. I don't know. I'd have to like okay right Here's what I'm thinking. I got like a bin bag. Or something. Oh no, it has to be white doesn't it to reflect light properly And then like you put it on the front I think and it like dissipates the light there and into, into your face So you know how like breaking a mirror gives you like seven years of bad luck, right? Okay, and I know you're very superstitious Anna so like you probably are very afraid of me opening this umbrella indoors. There's no like time frame given to um, all other, like breaking beer is the only thing that gives you a time frame for how long your bad luck is going to last. Like every other form of bad luck, it's like, oh, Bill Salt, you got bad luck for how long? Three millennia. <laughs> it's like, oh, you break a mirror? Seven years. And then like, so it's like whoever like invented superstition, like, 
with like their deals with the devil and stuff. The devil was like, the devil like had this list and he's like, what can I punish people for with my magical devil powers? Spilling salt, walking under a ladder, seeing a black cat, breaking a mirror, opening umbrella on doors. That's how we started this. Okay, yeah, so that's like the list. And then he's like, hmm, Frederick. Frederick is the devil's servant, in case you didn't know. He makes quite a lot of appearances in Christian theology. Frederick, give me time frames for how long I should punish people for, for, uh doing these things, and Frederick's like, well, a mirror, obviously, has got to be seven years, and then the devil doesn't want to seem like an idiot by being like, why, obviously? Right, okay, maths example. They say maths, and you, and they're like, well, obviously, that's the answer, and then you've got to be like, yeah, that, obviously, that is the answer, because if you're like, wait, explain how you got that answer, they're like, oh, you're, you're an idiot. So, basically, the devil did a similar thing, where Frederick's like, obviously, breaking a mirror has got to be seven years. Why do all my characters do, like, jazz? <laughs> Like, in my imagination, everybody is constantly listening to jazz. As you imagine this, with my characters, put like, an offset of jazz in the background, like a What should I give us- Frederick, what should I give us the punishment for each individual heinous act? Well, uh, they're not really heinous, but I would say, breaking a mirror, obviously after these seven years. <laughs> Obvi obviously seven years. What about everything else? Ah, well I think spilling salt should give you- Oh, oh, hello, I'm getting a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Devil, my wife is in labour. Gotta go. And then the devil is over here, like, about this list. The only, the only one I ever define punishment for is seven years uh, for breaking a mirror. I could apply seven years to the rest. But maybe Frederick will go, I'll get Frederick. I'll get, I'll get back to Frederick on this and then, okay, right. Let me give you this to you, uh, succubus. <laughs> I want you to speak to Frederick about the rest of the punishments, uh, and then I want you to apply them to the mortal realm uh, above us all. Yes, sir. That's the succubus speaking. Yes, sir. Um, and then on the way home to see his wife, because she's in labour. Was she given birth to? Demon spawn. That's how it works. They they have a very similar social hierarchy in hell to what's that makes sense. Oh, capitalism. It's based off the social hierarchy of hell. Topical. Not really topical. Oh, bashing capitalism. So topical. Am I right? Um, so yeah, then the succubus, who oh, it was unnamed, because like obviously the succubuses, they're like lesser beings, so they don't have names. Uh, the succubus is like, he tries to reach out to Frederick to get the rest of the punishments, but then like Frederick is like, he, he's dead. Like, we established that he died. The succubus, because he's like so caught up in like Frederick's death and like the tragedy of it all, he just submits the rules. And then like everything else is undefined. Like, all of the rules other than breaking them are undefined. Unless there are defined rules. Maybe I should like Google that before I... <laughs> well, I'm not Googling it now. Because if, if I like don't know, then I can like put this video across as like, Oh, I didn't know. But like, if I Google it, then I have no excuse to put this up. That turned into the Mossess the Cantina thing by the end. The devil, he's listening, he loves, he loves Star Wars. Like, even like before Star Wars was a thing, because he's the devil. So obviously like, he's like been around for eternity. And then is that how the devil works? The devil's been around for eternity. You know that thing where like, if you put like an infinite number of monkeys in like, with an infinite number of typewriters, eventually they'll write the entire world of Shakespeare? Yeah, apply that, but to angels and Star Wars. That bit, by the way, that bit wasn't funny at all. It won't live up to skiing away furiously from a bear, because that was, like, the, the peak of my comedic career. Like, I'm, like, saying that like it went, like, amazingly viral, and, like, skiing from a bear is, like, the new, the, the hit meme of May. What just moved? I swear something just moved. Maybe there's, like, a family of spiders living in my room. Family. Not not just, like, a, like a, like a horde of spiders, or, like, just the one spider. A whole family. Classic nuclear family. There's, like, spider dad and spider mum. That's like, no, they're called, like, Bill, Jane, and Tommy. They're not, like, uh, so, like, Bill, Jane, and Tommy. And then Jess died in a tragic car accident, and that's, like, the plot of Spider World. They're not called, like, spider dad and spider mum, because we're not called, like, human dad, human mum, human daughter. Human slave, human sex worker, human useless piece of atrocity that deserves to die. That's me. I'm the human worthless piece of atrocity that deserves to die. What was I saying? Oh, shut up. Who was that? I bet it's you, Anna. Hold on, let me check. Look, guess who it is. Guess who it is. It's Anna. What's she saying? What's she saying? What's she saying? Bulgaria came second in Eurovision. So proud of the mother- Is it Eurovision? Wait, when is Eurovision? The 13th Eurovision was last night! What? What? I remember Mr. Eurovision.
television. That's like gay treason. God, that's really throwing me off guard that you- Oh yeah, not that I wasn't off guard before. This entire video is like the epitome of off guard. That's the name of this video. It's called off guard. It's not called off guard. I just like... Off guard. <laughs> what? Um... The UK came 15th. Well, the UK aren't gonna win. Why did Bulgaria come second? Anna's saying, would I have watched it? Yes, I would have had a Eurovision party. That would have been amazing. Why didn't we have a Eurovision party? You call me a sad, sad person. Well, I did just establish that I am human, worthless, piece of existence or whatever. I'm really sad about Eurovision. Right, there we go. I've got a sign that says addendum. It's now quite clear that it is addendum time. So I made a sign that said addendum and now I'm doing addendum-y stuff. Do the YouTuber stuff. That's my friend Thomas. He's from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, yeah, he wants me to do all apparently, like, I need to do all this stuff where like a, there's like a video and then like to do this thing and then like, you know, everything that you normally do. I've made a sign and everything, come on. That's production value. It's called a footboard, you bonobo.